You're watching Coastal Fishing TV. Today we're at Lake Macquarie chasing flooded on soft plastics and we might chuck around a few blades and we're using we um I'm using four pound leader and I'm using a Z-Man curly tails in motor oil and I'm using four pound vanish leader and six pound fire line leader. And the rod I'm using is a Shimano Katana three to five kilo and the reel I'm using is a Shimano Solstice 2500. So let's go. <laughs> So I'm onto this fish. Oh yeah, it's a nice bloody on the Z-Man curly tail. I'm just, oh yeah, it's about 55 I'd say. Nice bloody. Wow, come on, fish. Wow. It's a nice, oh yeah, nice 50 something. I've got really light leader and he swallowed it so I have to be careful to make sure lucky I didn't lose him and he just oh he just swallowed that Z-Man right down there's really good lures the Z-Man curl tails curly tails I'll just get him out please nice dusky flooded we're only in like we're only in about 3.3 feet of water. It's really shallow. You can see bottom and everything. And I just got this dusky. And I'll show you that soft plastic all the way down there. It's just gone. So I might have to keep it. I don't know. Got that soft plastic out. With the Elaztec stuff, they don't break. So they're really stretchy. They're just really good. Now, I'll just get the brag mat. I'll just measure him. Anyway, just because I want to know what size it is. Oh, small one. It's only 49. Looks quite. It looks quite big, but 49. Fat fish, but pretty fat. This would be a really good eating size. You get a fair bit of meat out of them, and but I'll release him. So I'll just put him back in the water. Just got to get the oxygen in their gills so they can swim off the fine. And off, off he goes. It's beautiful. So I just, we're just trolling for Taylor now with his hard body lures. And I think I just got a little Taylor. Yeah, I think it's just a little Taylor. Yeah, just a little one. Little Taylor on this. It's a little, I don't know what it's called, but it resembles a little rainbow trout or something. So we've just come back from um, flatty fishing in Lake Macquarie and I invited Callum over to catch some trout. When I say trout, I don't mean trout around in the car, wild trout we my my dad goes trout and i'll just show you this trout i just caught it's a nice rainbow trout and caught him on the z-man curly tails in motor oil motor oil color and just in, on the Z-Man 
curly toes. Moss rainbow. Moss rainbow. Trout. It's a female because its under lip is isn't stuck out. And I'll just release it now. I'll just put her put her back. It's right there. And off it goes. And then after this, we're probably gonna go carp fishing and bass fishing. We haven't caught many bass there in a while, so we probably won't get any bass. So I'll just show you how to catch these trout. It's pretty simple. We just drop the lure to the bottom and it's here about now. Then we just we just just give it twitches. So yep, yep, yes, yes. So that's how easy it is to catch trout on the medium. Oh yeah, just a nice ra another rainbow. Nice rainbow. On the motor oil again. Motor oil. These are my favourite Z-Man because they just caught catch many different species from trout as you saw just then to flatties. And yeah, it's just really good. So I'll just release him because it's just a little one. Just drop him back, go on. So, yeah, awesome. Okay, so we've just come back to the last one we've And on the Z Man again, we're just still at the time, it's really good. I hope it's going to the top. Just tighten the drag. Lift him up quick. Yeah, so nice rainbow track. Okay, you can. Yeah, so we'll keep this one for dinner because good size, good eating size, and they're really good on the barbie. So I'm just using dough, I just made up some dough and I'm using it on a hidden weight system jig head by TT, a 128 and it's got some dough and they just go nuts over this dough Yeah, so I'll show you how to do it and yeah. So I'm just going to show you how ferocious these trout are. So just put that in the tank. Let it sink. Let it sink. And then you can see the rod tip getting bite. And then, and then you can just flip it. And then I'll just put some more bait on. Like, you just put a little bit on. The bait is just really frozen. Just put that back in. Let it sink. Just wait for the fish to take it. Once you see line coming off the reel, then like this. Fish has got it. Okay. Fish hasn't got it yet. So I'm just wait. And then wind back a bit. And hook it. And then now onto the fish. Ooh, it's a nice one. Good fighters that you are. And there it is. I'll just release this one because it's only a little one. On that TT hidden weight system jig head in 128 out.
drop it back in. Okay. Drop it. Gone. Yep, gone. Onto the last rainbow trout. Drop it down with the mono sienna. Jack. <laughs> look, look at its mouth. <laughs> something wrong with it. Yeah, it's a bit deformed. Yeah, on that. we just release it on the TT jig head. And I'll just, I'll just chuck him back. Ready? Steady. Oh. On. Now oh. I'll show you catching another one. Yeah, and on. On again. Oh, this one's a psycho. This oh. one's a psycho. <laughs> Whoa. This one's a psycho. You know, we're gonna no. keep this one because yeah. we're just catching heaps of small ones, so might as well keep one. It's a nice, nice rainbow. So how many trout do you have in your tank, Jack? We have about... 150 in each tank. So in that tank, we have about 150 in this tank. And the way to kill them, the most humane way to kill them, is it, it's pretty bloody, but most well, most <laughs> humane way to kill them, it kills them pretty much instantly. You get your finger, you stick it in their gill. And just rip back. It, say he's fully dead now. He's fully. He snapped there and there. It sounds pretty bad. Looks pretty bad, but hey, he's fully dead. Fully so I'm gonna have to turn there and catch some rainbow trout on the dope. And we're gonna um no, so you drop it in. And they're really crazy guys. Like, you watch them, you watch the rod tip. It'll go dessert. Yeah, yeah. So you get all these little bites. Yeah, yeah, and on. Yeah. Woo! He's on to a nice one. Nice one. We'll lift him through that hole. Lift him out. Lift him out. Oh yeah, just a nice one. Just get him off the hook. And the good thing I find about these um TT, didn't wait. Chickens, they perfect hook up too. Yeah, so some nice trout. So we'll release this one. Yeah, just release him. So I'll just dunk him in. Oh, it's like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty close to my house, so we just ride there, and I'm just using my little Shimano Katana, three to five kilo, and I'm using a little. I'm, we're trying to catch bass as well as carp. Yeah, guys. So we had no luck on the carp and stuff. So we had one go, but we um, just took the bait and stuff. So yeah, so we just had this um, ice spot here. We normally catch carp and bass here all the time. Well, bass not really lately, but stuff here. Anyway, we'll catch you next time for the next episode. Thanks, see you guys.